Yo, Prime Knit, Fly Knit, Leather, and Hyperfuse. Let's just say it's going to be a very interesting week of sneaker releases. What up, folks? Welcome to the Heat Check. I am your host, Jacques Slade, and this week has a very interesting mix of sneaker set to hit retail. Let's start with the classics. Everyone loves a classic sneaker, but as time goes on, sometimes you have to upgrade those shoes. Case in point, Adidas is bringing back the Superstar with a new Prime Knit Upper. In addition to the upper, they're also adding new cushioning with the bounce in the midsole. It definitely is your classic sneaker, but the Prime Knit and the bounce twist might make this one worth picking up. You can grab those for $120 right now over at Finish Line. Jumping to tomorrow, we have a shoe that was actually delayed a little bit, the LeBron 14 Black Ice. These have zoom pods on the outsole, which definitely give you some impact protection, plus that strap to keep you locked in. And then they also have that Hyperfuse mix on the upper for protection and to keep the shoe durable. Those are hitting select retailers tomorrow for $175. On the more casual side of things, Nike Sportswear is releasing the Flyknit Racer in the Oreo 2.0 colorway. Just based on the name alone, you can tell that this isn't the first time these shoes have released in this style, but the black and white mixed upper is very nice. You can grab those on Friday for $150. Getting back to basketball, Adidas Hoops is dropping the all-star colorway of the Harden Volume 1 sneaker called No Breaks. As many of you already know, the Harden shoe has boost and it has an X protection right at the toe for those that drag. This colorway actually kind of fits with the whole New Orleans theme, which is, means kudos to Adidas for getting it together since they changed from uh, North Carolina. Uh, you can grab those on Friday as well, and those are going to cost you $140. Switching to the ladies, they actually get a special luxury version of the Roshi 1. I know the Roshi 2 is out, however, Nike Sportswear is still giving the ladies love with a luxury version of the Roshi 1. You can look for those to cost you 130 and you can pick those up at finish line as well. Skipping through to Saturday, we get our first look at some of the Black History Month kicks that will be dropping. First up is the Air Jordan 1 Black History Month. These have a mostly black upper with gold accents and they look very nice as well. You can expect those to cost you $150 on Saturday. Keeping with the Jordan 1, the brand has a version just for the ladies. This is the Retro Jordan 1 High, and it's going to have some hyper pink mixed with black and white, which looks very clean. You can expect those to cost you $140 if you want to grab those over at finish line. Getting back to the Black History Month, the Jordan Trainer makes a return in a luxury version, or as Jordan is calling it, the LX version. Similar to the Jordan 1 I spoke about earlier, this model is a mix of black with a little bit of white, but mostly that gold is the accents. Those definitely look like they get that cozy boy approval. Those will cost you $140. And finally, we have the Air Jordan 5 take flight. This model is inspired by military flight jackets and has a full premium upper. Jordan Brand is taking this one into the pinnacle route and that way it's going to cost you $400 on Saturday. As with every week, there may be a few other things dropping here and there, but I wanted to give you guys the quick highlights on the stuff that I thought you would be paying attention to. As always, I am Jock Slade. This is the Heat Check presented by Finish Line and as always, I appreciate you. I'll see you soon. Peace.